of all the ways to acquire currency, get that bread, obtain the grain, if you will. One of the most obscure ways is to win on a game show. It's hard enough to be selected to participate in a game show, and it's just as hard to come out victorious with a pile of cash. In this video, we'll count down the top 11 most winning game show contestants. Number 11. John Carpenter. Who wants to be a millionaire? I know you're probably wondering why the list includes the top 11 game show contestants rather than the top 10. Well, John Carpenter is why. He's the 11th most winning game show contestant, but to be honest with you, he's number one in my heart. The show Carpenter put on to become the first ever grand prize winner of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was truly spectacular. The entire show, John was as smooth as a fresh jar of Skippy, never batting an eye at his answer choice. He surely impressed the like of Regis Philbin, the host. When it came down to the final answer of the show, Carpenter, in an unprecedented act of greatness, used his lifeline to call his dad. Rather than reading the question and asking for an answer from his lifeline, he simply said, Dad, I know the answer. I just wanted to tell you that I'm a millionaire. And lo and behold, he was. After that question, he won $1.25 million. Of the massive pot, he donated 10% to charity. Anyway, we can move on to the top 10 now but I'd be remised if I didn't mention the legendary John Carpenter. Number 10. Robert Carlo Mariano, Survivor, Redemption Island In the second season of Survivor, Redemption Island, Robert Carlo Mariano was known as Boston Rob. His memorable performance made him a fan favorite thanks to his big personality. Over the span of weeks, Boston Rob managed to outlast his teammates and opponents as they were picked off one by one. His winnings were amazingly over $1.3 million. But, as it happens, the million-plus paycheck wasn't the most valuable thing got out of the show. During his time on the survival game show, Robert Carlo met the love of his life, Amber Brickage, and they would later get married. Sounds like that show really worked out for Boston Rob. Number 9. Curtis Warren – Greed The game show Greed was only on the air for a little over a year, from 1999 to 2000. But thankfully, that wasn't enough time for former air traffic controller Curtis Warren to cash out with 1.4 million bucks. Warren's winning answer that got him all that cheddar was that Dragnet, McHale's Navy, The Flintstones, and The Beverly Hillbillies were TV shows turned movies. The movie buff was also lucky enough to make an appearance on two other game shows called Sale of the Century and Win Ben Stein's Money. From those two shows, he managed to pocket $140,000. So Warren's batting average when it comes to game shows isn't too shabby. Number 8. David Legler, 21 21 was a game show back in the 1950s that was exposed for being rigged. The show cancelled and lawsuits followed, but despite the stigma behind the show, NBC decided to reboot the show 50 years later. Audiences didn't really take to the reboot, so the show only lasted a season. But in that short window, David Leglaire was able to win $1.765 million. Leglaire is a finance manager, which works out nicely considering in 2000 he came into a lot more finance to manage. Later on, the Game Show vet appeared in a Game Show Nationals match, where Game Show winners from different games can compete in trivia. In the final round of the show, Legler aced off against one Frank Spangenberg, who won $260,000 from Jeopardy, and thus began one of the most heated sports rivalries in history. Legler managed to come out on top after four heated rounds. Number 7. Ashley Register – Duel Ashley Register inherited the rare title of the highest winning female contestant in game show history, who only appeared on one show after her performance on Duel. We must always remember, nothing is arbitrary when it comes to game shows. She also holds the record for the most money made by an American who appeared on just one game show. Ashley's answer that won her $1.795 million was that a gallon of water weighs more than a gallon of oil. The tournament-style game show Duel was only on TV for a year, just like some of the previous game shows mentioned, but it still has a place in Ashley Register's heart. Number 6. Ed Toutant – Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Ed Toutant was invited on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and on his very first question, he got the answer wrong. He was sent home in shame. But luck would have it that the question he got wrong was actually flawed. 
so they brought him back on a technicality. But he didn't let the first blunder get to his head, as he would proceed to answer all of the questions correctly this time around and walk out with over $1.8 million. As game show contestants tend to do, Ed found himself on another game show, Jeopardy, years later where he was able to scrap up a respectable $11,000. Number 5. Sandra Diaz Twine, Survivor At number 5, we have Sandra Diaz Twine, also known as the Queen of Survivor. The title was bestowed on her after she won $2 million on the game show. Survivor is of course not like any other game show. There isn't any trivia involved, it's merely how much the contestant can subject themselves to and how well they can work as a team while doing what's best for themselves. Athleticism also plays a big part in the game show, so to come out on top with $2 million is certainly a feat to be proud of. The reason why she's called the Queen of Survivor is because her $2 million in winnings are spread over two wins, and she's the only contestant to appear on the show and win more than once. Number 4. Kevin Olmsted, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now that we've reached the $2 million threshold, the winnings are starting to get twice as serious. Kevin Olmsted's winning question was, who is credited with inventing the first mass-produced helicopter? He guessed correctly, Igor Sikorsky. The special episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was during the Jackpot series, where the winnings were more than twice as much as usual. After he became a millionaire on that game show, he tried his hand at Jeopardy, where he managed to win 27 big ones. Number 3. Andrew Kravis, Million Second Quiz In 2013, Andrew Kravis was able to earn himself a huge payday on the show Million Second Quiz, hosted by my man Ryan Seacrest. Andrew Kravis was fresh out of Columbia Law School when he decided to try his hand at the new and short-lived game show Million Second Quiz. Kravis became the show's only winner, taking home $2.6 million for his troubles. He also went on to win money on Wheel of Fortune, who wants to be a millionaire, and Jeopardy. With the $2.5 million, Kravis paid off his loans and enjoyed a long trip traveling around Europe. Number 2. Ken Jennings, Jeopardy Ken Jennings came storming onto the Jeopardy scene back in 2004, quickly becoming a household name as the man who couldn't be beaten. Jennings won an astounding 74 games before contestant Nancy Zerg defeated him. In 2011, Jennings returned to the game show to compete against an IBM computer named Watson. Watson, in a bit of a drag, has beaten every human it's ever faced. But aside from that know-it-all robot, Ken Jennings has won an astounding $3.4 million on Jeopardy. And number 1. Brad Rutter, Jeopardy the king of Jeopardy and the king of game shows. No one in the history of American game show winners has won as much as 2011 Jeopardy contestant Brad Rutter. Rutter has never lost a game of Jeopardy to another human being. Shocking even longtime host Alex Trebek, Rutter's only loss came against the IBM Watson. But in legacy terms, losses against robots don't count. Rutter has competed on other game shows too, including the Million Dollar Mind game, where he took home $100,000. Rutter, however, became more than just a nerd who knows a bunch of trivia. He caught the eye of style magazine Vanity Fair for his stylishness on the show and got himself featured. It just goes to show, some people care if you know who invented the helicopter, and some people just care if you properly know how to deploy a pocket square. In total, Brad Rutter has made $4.6 million from his game show appearances, 99% of which coming from his wins on Jeopardy. So there you have it, the 10 most winning game show contestants led by the stylish, trivia genius Brad Rutter. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury, pip pip de doodly doo.